Hey y'all, let's do one more hashtag MP show me. Fast Friday, we get extra turbocharger boost. About 40 to 50 horsepower is worth. That's what makes the cars go as quickly as they do. Fast Friday, teams will be running qualifying simulations. Saturday and Sunday, we'll get real ideas of how much speed uh, these cars can make with that extra turbo boost, road course turbo boost. Get questions all the time. How do they do that? Is it some sort of mechanical system that allows more boost to be made? It's actually all electronic. It is from the fine men and women in charge of the engines at Chevrolet and Honda, the engine techs going tapity tap tap on their laptops and increasing the boost pressure to 160 kPa. Uh, road course boost, so that's where that extra horsepower comes from. If you take a look on the uh, Chevy and Hondas, you'll notice that readily available uh, cars rolled out in gasoline alley, lots of fans watching and filming and such. You can see here on the Chevrolet in particular, easy to spot the wastegate, uh, kind of sort of obscured by the exhaust, but not totally. You can see some ducting going to them to keep them cool, uh, but in particular, they can be seen. Uh, this is where, again, through the electronics, telling the wastegate, hey, hold on, we're gonna build even more power, more turbocharger pressure uh, before you relieve that. Don't wanna get into any boost penalties, but it's all done electronically, uh, managed electronically. This is how that gets done. If you take a look at the Hondas, you can't really see them. They are well and truly hidden away beneath the exhausts uh, on the left and right banks of their 2.2 liter twin turbo V6s. So they are hidden. The only thing that kind of gives them away is that secondary exhaust pipe, smaller exhaust pipe that comes out and tries to meet up with the primary exhausts uh, coming out the back of the car. So if you follow that down, even though you can't see all of it or really see any of the wastegate, that's where they have theirs tucked away, nice, nicely packaged, just like the Chevy. But this is all done electronically. And I think it's pretty cool that after we're done on Sunday, just a few more little tabity taps of the keyboard, and that goes away. We go back to race boost. On the team side, they will all change gears, right? You have more power. You need to modify the gears to deal with that power. Uh, the data specialists on the team will modify the shift lights on the steering wheel because we are having more power come in at a faster rate. You're shifting faster. So uh, some adjustments needed for sure within the car to make use of all that power. And who knows what we're going to see, 232? 233, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, keep in mind, the little kind of sort of hidden wastegates, that is the, uh, the magic electronic way we make more horsepower.